This will be a short IAX Network video on how to use IPTV in the NextGen framework. We'll go over configuration and usability. One of the first things you want to check or look at when you configure your IPTV client is you'll note in this case we have three clients um, and each are on a different VLAN. When we look at the IGMP host configuration, under the IGMP host tab, uh, this, these are version 3 hosts. There's only one IGMP group range configured. And it's also important if you scroll to the right, when using the IPTV channel zapping, you also have to have enabled IPTV. Okay. For the IGMP group ranges, uh, these are the groups that each IPTV client is going to be joining and leaving, dot one, two, and three, because we have an address count of three for these. Um, also, if we go to the IGMP source range tab, this is version three, so you'll specify the source for the S comma G uh, report. And finally, under the IPTV tab, Scroll to the right, we're set up for zapping behavior of zap only. That is from a leave to leave, or zapping channels at a three second interval. So it's join leave, wait three seconds, join leave, wait three seconds, etc. Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, we're going to go ahead and start the protocol here. All the protocols. We'll see if everything will come up, and it does. And let's check one thing. When we go to the IGMP host, and we go to the IPTV tab, we see that the channel zapping plugin is actually not started. So that's fine. We don't want to start this, which, by the way, we will start by right-click Start IPTV. But first, we want to uh, start traffic. So let's go look at the traffic configuration. We'll edit the traffic item. Uh, what I have is, this is my source, and remember we have the three groups for each of the hosts, okay? So the source to dest, it's uh, unidirectional, and also important to have merge destination ranges selected for multicast. We'll click next. I did not change anything here, or on the next next screen, nothing changed here. Frame size, set that as needed. Rate setup, same thing, depends on your requirements. Now, flow tracking. Two things I have selected here, the VLAN ID and destination address. Okay, and we're gonna click finish. Okay, so what you wanna do is start traffic first If you do not, um, when you start the IGMP or IPTV, I believe you get a warning reminding you that for accurate results, the join leave latency, you want to start traffic first before you start the IPTV plugin. <clears throat> okay, so traffic started. Now to get the IPTV uh, stats, you'll go to the traffic item, right click it, and do all filtered flows. When you do that, it creates this user defined statistics tab. Okay. And you notice now that we can see the IPTV stats here. There's more if I scroll to the right. Okay. I'm going to go back to IGMP host and under the IPTV tab, I'm going to start the IPTV plugin. Okay. And now we can see the stats is starting, right? It's channel changing channel changing, channel changing. And he's going to keep going through this um, zapping configuration that we have set up. And this has been a basic overview of IPTV in the NextGen framework using IX Network. Thanks for watching.